What happened here was not a mistake, it is not that they were hacked. They took several decisions to put at risk customer assets. The crypto industry saw dark days over the past week. FTX, the former second largest exchange in the world, crumbled. The fallout continues to ripple across the industry, with FTX backed companies filing for bankruptcy, users filing for lawsuits, and regulators sharpening their claws. In this context, we sat with Paolo Ardino, Chief Technical Officer, CTO, for Tether and crypto exchange Bitfinex to get his opinion about recent events. Paolo joined us from El Salvador, the first country to make Bitcoin legal tender, a historical place for the nascent asset class. Two major events in the industry's history came together from this location, the celebration of mainstream adoption by a nation state and the fall from grace of one of its golden boys, Sam Bankman Fried. Paolo gave his perspective on real adoption in the Latin American country, and the recent events that ushered in the collapse of FTX. His message revolved around education, self-custody, and the work ahead for crypto exchanges, users, and all actors across the crypto space. This is what he told us Q, you were on the ground in El Salvador, the first country to make Bitcoin legal tinder. Are people using Bitcoin for daily payments? How do you see things down there in terms of adoption? PA, so adoption, you know, so we see adoption in among, first of all, commercials, and businesses. The adoption when it comes to people and retail, the consumers, is still not widespread. I think it's normal. So is fully normal, you know, thinking and pretending that after just one year, everyone in the streets would use Bitcoin. That is super far-fetched. The usage of Bitcoin comes with infrastructure, and building infrastructure requires time, even when gear have moved from, you know, all the different currencies of the different countries to one single currency called Europe. It took several years up to six years to prepare everyone for the passage. And that was, you know, a forced passage to a single option that was Europe and is in El Salvador. Bitcoin is being used as an option for dollars. So, my point is that it will take several years in order to create adoption, and that is completely normal. And the only thing we can do is to keep building infrastructure and support and make the user experience more seamless. Q, how are you guys contributing to crypto adoption? PA, first, we have supported different educational platforms like Me Prime or Bitcoin. We are working directly with the government to try to set up courses at different levels from universities and high schools for Bitcoin education, right? We cannot pretend that adoption will happen by itself, it will happen only when people understand why Bitcoin matters. We at Bitfinex are devoting resources. Well, of course, we devoted resources when it came to, you know. Helping the families affected by the pandemic or by the hurricane, but that is just the first step. The important part is starting with all the educational projects that we have, and so also we are kind of excited because more and more with all the different things that will happen in the next months. El Salvador will stay on the map and we will become more prominent because there is also a securities law, to be introduced, that will enable companies to raise capital and create a securities tokens like you know, issue bonds issue or stocks and raise capital through Bitcoin. So more and more so, the infrastructure has to be at all levels, it cannot be just retail, it cannot just be consumer, it cannot just be shops, there has to be, a full immersion of Bitcoin as a payment option as a capital raise option for companies here. Q, do you believe the last week, with FTX collapsing, users losing millions on the platforms, and regulators coming after the industry, will change anything for crypto adoption?